This is the strangest thing in all of quantum physics, a phenomenon so unsettling that Einstein refused to accept it. Two particles can be so deeply connected that whatever happens to one affects the other instantly, even if they're separated by millions of light years. This spooky action at a distance, as Einstein called it, he believed violated his own theory of relativity. Imagine two objects, two electrons, the smallest particles in you, born at the same instant in the same corner of the universe. Now separate them, one stays with you, and the other travels to the far end of the universe. When you know the state of one, you know the state of the other, regardless of distance, with no signal, no delay, as if an invisible thread connected them, one that space cannot cut and time cannot slow down. Either information travels faster than light, or in reality, both particles are entangled, sharing something more than a simple bond, a new unified quantum state they maintain forever. 30 years later, Physicist John Bell proposed a solution. He designed a test, a way to decide whether Einstein was right or if quantum physics was even stranger than we imagined. And the experiment was conclusive. The universe truly allows two objects to be connected beyond space and time. God, apparently, does play dice. And if everything was entangled during the Big Bang, then everything is still connected. You, me, the galaxies, the billions of stars, and the worlds we don't yet know. We're still fragments of the same instant. Maybe the universe is not made of objects. Perhaps it's made of links, of invisible relationships that weave everything together. Each particle, each thought, each light in the sky. Connections we don't see, but that hold us. Because not even in the deepest part of matter are we truly alone?